Welcome back to Gracie, um, Divine Angelic Chosen One channel, and also Spiritual Earth Angel 623 channel, and Sarai Natural Beauty Skincare Products and Aromatherapy Candles. So I wanted to come to you is because um, I had another um, vision, but this was like in real life time, dope vision, and that God wanted me to talk about. There are, because of the earth and heaven, the thin layer, like the veil that's, you know, that keeps the gates and the doors closed, you know, from unleashing demons and different things into the spiritual realm and also on the earthly realm has been open. And it's been open for a while because I had did like a video back on my spiritual earth angel 623 about the veil and different things about how... It has been open um, you know different things has been you know open up and there the demons and different things is roaming on the spiritual realm and on the earthly realm and prime example is that you know doing my travels you know I drive commercial trucks as a you know for a living also you know I also am um, a nurse also and doing my travels and different things like that, you know, with my husband or whatever. And I see a lot of things. And a lot of things that I see is that I can see spiritual, you know, like I see demons and stuff jumping from one person to the other in different cars. Um, I can tell because they be sh shifting and shaking in their car that's when you know while driving and that's when i seen that there's like a demon or entity has entered into that person and has taken over that person's body also too um i noticed that when i would when i be listen to like spiritual things while i'm driving i see that the atmosphere would change you know, where it was once like heavy, thick negativity and demonic, you know, be around me. As soon as I start listening to spiritual things, music or whatever, um, that's when the atmosphere changes. And then that's when I begin to see a lot of demonic things happening. And that's why I stay prayed up a lot, you know, on my spiritual game a lot when it comes to that because I am pathy and, you know, I see things, you know, spiritually and earthly, you know, realm. And with my spiritual eyes. And that's why I'm saying that, you know, when people think that they can, you know, stop my psychic gift and my spiritual gift you can never stop any of that you know i'm still full force you know nothing has changed everything is still moving forward in my life you know when it comes to what god promised me since i was a child everything is being fulfilled the prophecy is being is being fulfilled at this very moment in the present time in my life and it will continue to my purpose and my mission is going to continue to be complete you know this lifetime cycle you know um while i'm on earth as a chosen vessel of god and you know a earth angel that god has sent to earth you know to do a mission of purpose and so nothing is going to stop any of my um messages and different things that that gets out it's going to continue to get out you know i have a good podcast audience that is really a lot of these messages already has gotten out um before it hit any of my other platform channels so you know which is a good thing you know glory, glory be to god on that because you know you always got some people trying to stop people from watching or you know your messages and different things like that but it's already on god now you know, my messages already don't hit real time, 
you know, when I do my live podcast and stuff like that on other uh, platforms that I do have, you know, um, before it even hits the YouTube channel or whatever. Um, it's already, by the time it hit the YouTube channel, I, I, that mess has already been circulated. A lot of people that needs to hear it already heard it, the message. So, um, so there's nothing that you can stop there. So, um, you know, you know, God always have other revenues and channels that I can, you know, get his message and different things out without any, um, interruptions, you know, with that. So that's why I said, you know, I always keep moving forward. Um, nothing's, nothing is being hindered in my life. Nothing's being stopped. You know, God is blessing me every single day um, as I walk in my purpose and take heed to what he is saying to me. Um, my angel, my yeah, my angels and everybody's all beside me. My ancestors are with me, walking with me daily. So I have nothing to worry about. I'm very spiritual, heavily protected. A lot of spiritual beings is here on earth roaming around. Um, so, you know, protecting the chosen ones and the spiritual beings that God has really called. And they really has a calling in their life and know what their life purpose are. Um, a lot of soulmates that God has put together is already in union, you know since last year and this year and nobody can separate the union you know a lot of them has been awakening you know spiritually and naturally awakened to their calling to their purpose to their mission so and let's get back to the vision so i was sitting in a restaurant um, waiting for my food or whatever and this guy came in i don't know he was i don't know if he was like either mixed or he was hispanic type i'm not sure i really don't you know because his color you know was a really tan color um with dark black cold black hair or whatever really tall guy kind of muscular type guy like he might work out or something like that or either he's naturally built you know, and he has a lot of tattoos on his arm, you know, and he has a lot of tattoos that said God on his arm, you know, on his arm and stuff like that. So, but we're not going to focus on that. So when he came in, he sat down at this table that already had like food there or was already eating food. It was empty boxes or whatever. And when he did it, he looked towards me. And then all of a sudden, he started talking to himself. And I could feel, you know, demonic things on this man. You know, there was a lot of demonic entity was on people that day, you know, in the restaurant. And, and I could feel, you know, that energy. And so I tried to tune it out. Seriously, y'all, you know, when demons trying to get my attention, I always try to tune, tune it out because, you know, if they stay in my energy for long, they will get destroyed. I will start destroying them naturally on earthly. And so when that happened, and also I have my spiritual guides and ancestors all of already hovering around me, ready to, you know, attack them. And when that happened, it, it was like he started laughing and he started, I mean, just laughing out loud and started talking to himself as if somebody was sitting at the table with him. He was having like a full blown conversation at the table and he kept looking at the person. It, will know, it wasn't even a person. It was like a bag that was sitting in his seat. And he was looking at that bag and was sitting there just talking as if he could actually see who he was talking to. And it was very demonic. 
and and when I picked up on it, I said, "This man is demonic. He, you know, he's already possessed because he's probably been dipping and dabbing in some black magic and witchcraft and different things to the point that now he has the demons has overtaken them, and that's what God was showing me. And so when that happened, my attention went on that man because like I said the demons was like pulling on my energy they, I guess they want that attention maybe they wanted to be destroyed maybe they wanted to be free from this man's body you know because sometimes demons also get tired of the host that they're in and they want to go into another host and what they do is they want something they want like a spiritual being to release them so that way they could roam into another body or whatever or another host um or another body core or whatever and i wouldn't do it i would not um you know because those demons that got up in there in that man's body they're gonna suffer there they're gonna die in that man's body so and but i saw that and you know god was just showing me a lot of demons and there is another, and there is a secret society group that has a sticker on their car. And I know a lot of people have seen it. It says, be patient, student driver. That, God was showing me that that is a, that is a secret society hiding behind that sticker. And they put those stickers on the car to recognize their members. That's what that's, that's what that is. Because a lot of those people that got stickers on their car, they are like older white men, um, Caucasian men, different type of men, different type of women, um, all different race and different things will have that on their car. And it, you, I don't see no young person driving those cars, those vehicles with the sticker on it. So that's a secret society that is hiding behind you know, be patient, student driver, sticker. So, and you know, God want me to expose that because you know, now the secret societies are getting clever now with their disguises, you know, with having, you know, the stickers and stuff and hide behind that to recognize their members and different things like that. You know, which is kind of crazy to me because, you know, God always going to reveal things to me, especially when I am tuned in with him, you know, one with the spirit with him, you know, and he shows me a lot of things, you know, and be talking to me about a lot of things that is going on on the earthly realm, you know, um, and also on the spiritual realm, too. And so I just want to get that out there too. That's that's a secret society right there that's behind that sticker. Um, that it that has been formed or already been formed, and they just want to um, use that to gain more members or whatever it is. But just be careful if you do decide to join. You better you know read the fine prints you know of your contract and what you signed up for because you could be witchcraft or witchcraft could be done on you you know to make you not be aware and question things until it's too late so that you don't sign your soul to the devil and different things like that so now they're getting more clever with um recruiting more people into secret societies and different things like that to harvest more energy from people you know and to sacrifice more to the devil so you know this like i said you know there are cunning things that the enemy the devil has you know has stored up um and conjure up in you know in different secret society groups and stuff like that also you know it could be in churches too churches can have secret society also in churches so just be mindful who you be listening to you know in church and different things like that because you never know what type of group they could be in behind closed doors and not telling you you know like i told you i had dreams and i told you about you know, dreams and vision that God has showed me about churches and pastors and stuff like that. How they worship the devil, you know, on 
Saturday, you know, Monday through Saturday. And then on Sunday, they be worshiping God. So just be careful with that because you don't know what goes on behind closed doors. And I talk about that on both channels, the Spiritual Earth Angel 623 channel and also the Divine Angel, the Total One channel. I've been talking about that stuff, a lot about it. Um, I like to thank my reviewers and my subscribers, you know, uh, also people that watch it and apply things to their life. Um, the encouragement that I get, you know, um, you know, the positive feedback that I get back from people on my podcast channels, you know, and some of my social media platforms and different things like that. So I thank you all for that. Um, that you know that I am a chosen one by God. You know, there are things that goes on, you know, about that stalking and following and, you know, people in the groups and different things like that, you know, that has been entered my life and didn't know how it entered into my life, you know, but maybe this is part of the prophecy that I have to go through. So I'm gonna go through it and, um, and God is getting the victory over this situation that I have handed into him a long time ago. You know, my spirit of God is an ancestor. So that's why I be at peace, you know, when I'm doing all my travels and stuff like that. Nothing can move me, you know, from my peace and my state of peace of mind and my happiness, you know, and making my money. You know, God always going to have a ram in a bush for me. You know, always going to have a scapegoat for me to escape any harm and danger. And even if he has to take some people out, you know, along the way, then he would do so. Because his purpose, his mission in, over my life is going to be fulfilled no matter what. Nobody can stop it. And that's why I'm always moving forward. Nothing has changed. Um, I don't have no sickness in my body or anything like that. None of my spiritual gift has been taken away or anything. It's just that God has me operating in different spiritual gifts at this moment, at this present time. You know, um, sometimes I operate in karma gift, you know, karma. Sometimes I operate in love, peace, and joy, and happiness. Sometimes it, it, it depends on how he wants me to operate in my spiritual gift at that time to bring whatever type of justice or whatever to people that needs to be um, chest ties is what God is saying, chest ties, um, to bring awakening and to bring healing into their lives. But just when, like I said, there are demons now and it's roaming and jumping around into different people, um, sexually, um, soul tie relationship. Sometimes there could be a, a demon attached to a karmic um, male or female. So be careful with the signs and symptoms of that because you will know because they will have split personalities. Um, they will be bipolar. They will have mental illness and different things like that. One minute they're happy, one minute they're not. That's an, that's, that is an entity or a demon that has been possessing that person's body. You know, they wake up one thing one way and then go to bed one way and wake up one way or throughout the day, mood swings and different things like that. That is unhealed people. And they low vibrational people. And God was showing me that there's a lot of vi low vibrational pe people in this group that will be, you know, stalking and following me. And that's why entities is being jumped into their bodies and demons being taken and possessing them and controlling them because of their low vibration. That when, you know, anytime that you want to stalk and follow somebody and you follow somebody for not a good cause and for a bad cause because of envy and jealousy and other things that they don't like about the person's spirituality or whatever, um, right there, you are operating in your south node and you operate in low vibrational state. So that means your energy is so low that entities is gonna be jumping in and out of your body and gonna be controlling you and telling you what to do and, and different things like that. And your soul has already been taken over by. 
And that's why I was always telling people to raise your vibration, raise your positive energy so you won't be possessed by demons. Because like I said, these demons are roaming to and fro looking for a host to jump into and to control by their master, the devil. So just be careful with that um, when you get into a relationship, man or female getting into relationship business relationship anything that has attained to do with your life your life purpose your mission your finances you know your place of living you know who is your god in your life you know all of that takes up you know put play a part in a lot of things you know and that's why i always say and spread a lot a you know, keep spreading good energy, keep spreading positive love, joy and happiness throughout the world to raise the earth vibration, you know, to be positive. We see a lot of negative things happening all around us all the time, you know, that try to bring that depression and, you know, and bring that heavy negative energy. If you begin to raise your way of thinking to positive things in life, then you will have positive things and positive results coming to your life. You know, where there's nothing, not going to be any type of hindrance or anything or stagnation in your life. If you think on good things, think on positive things, you know, that energy, you know, spreading that love, that joy, compassion, you know, for one another, holding the door open for one another, being more polite. And stop trying to sabotage people. You know, you can pick up on the energies of people that, that's trying to sabotage you, trying to send negative entity things towards you. I have encountered a lot of spiritual beings, y'all, that are in spirituality that God has woken up through my messages. And they have also came to me on my travels while I'm traveling for my job, you know, that even when I'm home and out about traveling, people notice me and they will be thanking me. We have a good conversation about spirituality and they will say how their messages and the dreams and everything has to have an impact on their lives. And I'm really grateful and thankful that God is using me as a highly favored vessel of his, an earth angel he sent to earth, you know, from heaven to earth to live in earth form, you know, to spread, you know, his messages and different things around. You know, I am very grateful and blessed with that. And I thank the Most High and I give him all the praises and all the glory, you know, with that, you know, for making me as a chosen vessel, you know, to, to spread, you know, his messages and stuff around. You know, and I'm, I'm happy about that. You know, I'm happy the way my life is going. I'm happy the way the things has worked out in my life so far. You know, the good and the bad. You know, you take it as it resonates into your life. You know, think on the good things. You know, what God has brought you from. You know, because God has brought me from a lot of things. You know, in a low state in my one time in my life. You know, I was low vibration at one time in my life too. But then you outgrow that. You know, you want to change. And when you go and when you start getting closer to God and being as one with Him, you know, things will begin to change, you know, in your life. You know, where your energy is really high, vibrating really high. You know, there's days that I can see that, um, that the gravity and energy is so high in the earth vibration realm is that it be like pull it on me it be pulling on my energy so that's how i know that when i am one with the the masters you know and god um the ascendant masters and that was before me my ancestors you know, our angels, you know, Michael, that heavily, heavily, he's protected, you know, me for a lot of things and always with me, spiritual guys, you know, um, one with nature, you know, universe and different things like that, spiritual realm, you know, 
you also have access to you know the underworld realm also which I had a dream back then and I also wrote a book one time I had wrote a book that I did get published that about heaven and hell you know and what God had you know took me you know when I was in my early 20s when I had just had my daughter and how God was taking me through each night he came and took me to different realms you know on earth you know spiritual realms and also different realms on earth you know and also realms in in hell the underworld and he was showing me you know different demons and different spirits and different things he was also showing me my calling and my purpose why i was you know here on earth and what he put me here and what the prophecy was so there was a lot of things you know i have lots of books and different things you know inside of me that you know that i have written you know haven't got it published yet but maybe think about getting it published one day you know um I, I wrote a lot of poems. I got a lot of awards for writing poetry. Also, um, a lot of awards. A lot of my poetry poems has been published in poetry books. You know, um, published in newspaper back then. You know, when they had newspaper back then in those days. You know, before social media and stuff came out. Um, and then, um, I have attended various competition poetry competition and different things like that um you know with that i have spoken you know and read a lot of my poetry you know when i used to you know back then in churches and stuff different churches that i was affiliated with you know so it was a lot of things that God has gave me a lot of gifts and talents and different things like that. And with that, you know, that in my life that I'm very grateful for, you know, I'm very grateful for my daughter. And, you know, well, she is very highly protected because she comes from my same DNA that I come from. So she is very highly protected also by God, spiritual guides, earth angels, our angel Michael. You know and God and different things because I remember when I had her God was like um, submit her to him and I gave her to God after she was born so she is very protected by God she is God's child also you know and so that was said and nothing that people try to do to me or do to her it would not work it would backfire in their face every single time until next time, peace, love, joy, and happiness, and much blessings to you. Keep moving forward on your spiritual path and journey.